As part of our trip around France for the launch of the new Peugeot 308, we've stopped in at Socho to check out the Peugeot Museum. Well, Peugeot actually has quite an extensive history and I'm looking forward to checking it all out. Now, as soon as you walk through the door, these brightly coloured concept cars hit you in the face. These are from the City Toys Collection. Very, very cool. Peugeot actually essentially started way back in 1810 in the business of textiles and metal. One of the first things they made was what we now know as the modern day saw. It also sparked the Peugeot logo in the lion. The claws of the saw were represented in the claws and the teeth of the lion. They also made things like crinolines, metal things that went under women's skirts, also sewing machines and coffee grinders. Now, of course, what we know Peugeot best for today is its cars, and there are some beautiful old cars in here. This one is one of my favourites. It was built in 1893. It actually won the world's first car race, which was advertised as a horseless carriage competition. Now, this is a Type 36 built in 1901, and here's a fun fact. It was the first Peugeot car to have the round steering wheel. This thing is absolutely humongous. It is the Type 139A Torpedo. Obviously, it's huge. Could it be the world's first family SUV, I wonder? If you've ever seen Midnight in Paris with Woody Allen, you would recognise this car. It was the one used in the film. This really is one of the best looking cars in here. Now the modern Peugeot Coupe convertible actually owes its existence to the brains behind this one. Built in 1934, it was the first Coupe convertible. Well, if you have a need for speed, you'll certainly find what you're looking for here. These are amazing. You've got rally cars with this dirt, tarmac, race cars, high performance cars, Cars that are loud, cars that go fast. Love it. Well, this is a hot hatch that us Australians will definitely recognise. The 205 GTI, it celebrates its 20th anniversary this year. It's sitting right next to the Turbo 16, 30 years young. These concept cars are crazy. Imagine what the world would look like if we all drove around in one of these. That one looks like an alien. This one's my favourite. I reckon the head of Peugeot's four-year-old just drew a picture and he said, we're going to make that car. Here we have some of Peugeot's more modern, sportier looking concept cars. And if this is what the future of Peugeot looks like, it's pretty impressive. Now the history is just so extensive. There is so much to see here. If you want to see it, you're just going to have to experience it for yourself. One day I could be saying that this is my new car.